The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. Hi, I'm Sean Barrett, and this is Northern Songs. Northern Songs shines a spotlight on local songwriters. These are people in your own backyard making great music, and I'm really, really pleased today to have uh, uh, Jesse Brunette. How are you, Jesse? I'm great. Good. I'm glad to hear it. So, Jesse, you're delightful, and I love your Aww. songs. Okay. Um, you've only been writing for a couple of years, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, how did you get started writing songs? This is uh, this being a relatively new thing mm -hmm. for you. Well, my friend Matt Moscow got me involved with uh, singing. He told me, get up there, just go sing. And he wrote songs. I took inspiration from him, and then I thought about the men in my life. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll write a little about them. They're interesting. They make my life hectic. So Hectic. That's, that's yeah. probably a kind way to put it. Yes. I mean, because your, your songs are very personal. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'd call them sad. They're personal. Um, you called the album Mystery Muses. Yes. Uh, so... Am I to guess then that these guys don't really know these songs are about them? I th I think they know it's about them. They don't know which one's about them. Okay. Like they they try to guess. But I'm not gonna t I'm not gonna tell them. Like mm -hmm. no no no. You, it's a mystery to you, and it's a mystery to all my friends too. Cause really? It's embarrassing. <laughs> like oh, you really felt that way about that guy? Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> well, and that's you know what the thing about songwriting is. Mm -hmm. We lay ourselves kind of bare, don't we? Yes. You find that hard. It's very difficult. I'm always nervous about what people will think of my songs. You know, I know I write kind of sad songs or kind of mm -hmm. hopelessly romantic songs. Mm -hmm. But you're still going out and playing them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any regular gigs you play? I play monthly play? at the townhouse, usually the last Monday of the mm -hmm. month. Uh -huh. And yeah. Do you play your originals? I play my originals. I'll play some covers of my favorite people and all that kind of fun stuff. Right on. And. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine they're all very well received. I mean, the townhouse is always <laughs> such a receptive crowd, right? Yeah, it's great. On my CD release, there were tons of people. They were dancing, drinking, having a great time, and it made me really excited. Good. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about, um, a little bit more about the CD and the fact that uh, you've kind of, uh, having only written for two years, it's pretty impressive you got one out. Mm -hmm. But we're going to let you play a tune first. What are you going to play? I'm going to play Familiar Man. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks. Wasting time in my heart 
Jesse, I loved it. Oh, thank That's you. That's great too. <laughs> it's a really good song. Um, you have, I mean, not been writing for a long time. You've already got a CD out. That's pretty impressive. Um, you're obviously kind of a, are you kind of a go-getter? Uh, you, I'd say so. I like yeah. to get what I want. Yeah. And I just, when I have something in mind, I have to do it. Like okay. that album, I went into Cosmic Dave's and I'm like, I think I should do an album. And Mark Brown was like, yeah, go ahead and do it. It's a lot of fun. And then he put me in contact with Brian and Brian and I are the best of friends now. Well, that's awesome. But I mean, how many songs are on it? And, and how long did it take you to write the songs to, you know, before you were ready to... To, to go in and, and you had the confidence to go in and lay those tracks down? There are five songs, so it's an EP. Uh, four of them are written by me and Brian helped a little bit. And then the last one, it was a cover song by Ox. But it, it, some of the songs were a couple of years old and some were only like a month old because I felt I had that song, had like the song had to be on the album. I hadn't let that guy hear it. So we put it on right away mm -hmm. and it was, it was tough. <laughs> yeah, do you, find that, uh, do you find that there's a, a big difference between the songs from when you first started writing and the ones that you're doing now? Oh yeah, the first songs I was writing were very poppy, like very embarrassing, but now I just, they're very folky country, it's what I like, and they're more open, I'd say. Who influences you? Influences? Uh, everyone in Sudbury, every musician I've ever spoken to, all the guys at Cosmic Dave's, of course, and then the queen of it all, Loretta Lynn. She is my uh, queen. Loretta's so. your queen. Yeah. And Patsy. And Miss Patsy and Klein. Patsy, too. Yeah. And, and you know what? I mean, it, I think that a lot of uh, female artists have those touchstones, but I think it's really cool that you're drawing influence and, and uh, inspiration from all the people around you, because I do, too. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a, it's a great scene. There's a lot of really good songwriters yeah. here, right? Um, where do you want to go from here? What's, what's next? What's next is another album. It's going to be a full-length one, so mm -hmm. we already started working on it. And I want to tour. I just want to go out there and tour maybe next year, go to Europe. I've always wanted to go to Europe, and here's my big excuse to go. <laughs> right on. Um, how, how do you find the writing process for you? I mean, now that you've done this five-song five EP, are you writing a lot of songs? Are you kind of coasting a little bit? Like, how, how's that working for Almost you? Almost right every day I'm writing something. Maybe I'm fixing something up, but I, I have to be alone. Like. I can't have anybody around me, even when I'm practicing. Like I'm being very open with myself. Sometimes I cry after a song, so I don't want anybody to see that. So I have to be alone <laughs> while awesome, I'm writing. That's an awesome image. I just <laughs> oh, this man. <laughs> well, that's great. Listen, Jesse, it's been awesome having you come in, Thank and uh, congratulations on the EP. I'm really looking forward to the first full length. And uh, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yay!